is for aimbot? A for aura. Wait, that's not a male skin. But let's look at the sweatiest male skin for each letter, you know, of, of the alphabet. A, aerial assault trooper. This is one of those skins that's sweaty and rare, and since it's rare, that's the main reason it's sweaty. Because if this skin weren't released in season one and instead way later, not many people would really care about it. But the people you do run into using this skin have good aim most of the time, and they are just good at the game. But let's not forget there are some that are whack. B, Black Knight. I never see people using the Black Knight anymore. Whenever I do see one, there's a 50-50 chance that they're either good or bad at the game as well. Kind of similar to the players with the Aerial Assault Trooper. That's because this is another one of the skins that's good because of the time it got released. Then the only thing people use from the Black Knight today is his shield. C, Chaos Agent. Now we have a skin that's not good because of the time it got released. This skin isn't rare or anything, it's good because of the way it looks. Wow! You can get the Chaos Agent for 1500 V-Bucks, and most players who like the way it looks bought him because of his size. This might even be the smallest and skinniest male skin in the game. D, Dummy and Diamond Hans. The Dummy wins the definitive first place spot for the letter D, for sure, but the Diamond Hans couldn't have been left off the list completely. It's just too good looking and sweaty. Then it hasn't been out for very long, so you never know if it'll overtake the dummy skin, but in my opinion, I don't think it will. Because the dummy is currently the most popular male skin in the game that tryhards won't stop using. Quickly subscribe or your internet will shut off. Just do it! E. X. Not the sweatiest nor worst skin out there, it's just the best skin for this letter. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Mongrel used this skin before, which helps it out with its sweat status. And this is one of the skins that most of you might not know about, and if you are one of the players who doesn't know, it's a Valentine's skin that could be bought for 800 V-Bucks, but only returns to the shop once a year, you know, Valentine's Day. F, face stick. It's not as sweaty as it used to be when it was Benji Fishy's main skin, and he stopped using it, but it isn't the worst out there either. Although it is more of a meme skin now, since it is Tico's skin, and they just use it to have fun and joke around with it because of the way it looks. Out of all the fish stick styles, I do think the World Cup or default styles look the best. G, Grind. One of the most underrated skins in Fortnite that many people either sleep on or have wanted since they spotted someone else wearing it. This skin can be bought for 1800 V-Bucks whenever the hang time bundle is available in the item shop, but that doesn't come out too often. Then it also has four selectable styles and all of them look good and sweaty. And if you were curious about my favorite male skin, it's the Grind. H, Hopper. So did anyone know that this would become a sweaty skin when it first got released? Or did we all ignore it and then want it when it returned to the item shop the next year? But this is a skin that recently became sweaty after its latest release. And that's likely because of pro players or streamers people see wearing it. And if you bought the skin, you have to use the bold bar with it. It fits too well. Just a little bonus combo. I. Iconic or Inferno. Did Fortnite remove the iconic skins from everyone's account who had one? And I say that because I haven't seen nor run into someone using this skin in at least a year. I'm not even joking, but this skin has a minor sweat status because it's an exclusive skin you had to spend a lot of money to get. And there were a lot of bots who had this as well, so that holds it back a little. Also, the Inferno is one of the male tryhard skins that's not popular because no one wanted it when it first got released. J, Jonesy the First. This skin used to be super sweaty and tryhard back in Chapter 1, when Tifu's account got banned and he didn't want to buy any skins anymore. So he stuck to the defaults. But with Fortnite releasing it in Chapter 2, that made it less sweaty because, well, first off, you had to buy it this time, unlike in Chapter 1. And I feel like they should have made these skins free since they're just default skins. K, Kit. This is one of the skins that's not sweaty, but sometimes you'll have good players meme around with it and still do well, so we'll put it on the list. And all the other male skins that start with K are nowhere near good looking nor sweaty. And to be honest, if we were still in Chapter 2 Season 3, this skin wouldn't have even had a chance of being on this list because every kit I ran into back then, they were all free eliminations. L. Lucky Rider. Does anyone even use the Lucky Rider? Well, but we all know that everyone uses the back bling that was released with the skin. And even though it really isn't the best skin out there, all the other male skins, starting with L, were just so bad. So I thought we might as well just let the Lucky Rider have its moment in the spotlight. I mean, people do buy him for the back bling that comes with him, so that's gotta count for something. That is one of the best back blings in the game. You know what I'm talking about. M. Midas or Mesmer. The Midas wasn't too sweaty when it was first released, and that's simply because, well, Battle Pass skin. But after the season was over and the players who mainly use Battle Pass skins stopped using him, you started seeing really good players having him equipped. You also have Mr. Savage and Kanata using him as their main skin. Plus, everyone loves how he makes any gun he touches turn gold. 
I wish Fortnite would add more skins with that feature. And Night Hair or Noir? I'll let you decide which one is sweatier because neither one of these skins looks decent to me. This is just what we had since they're the best out of the four or five male skins that start with N. And that leaves me wondering, who out there uses either of these skins or any of the male N skins? Oh, Orin. It looks like a lot of people are fans of the anime skins Fortnite started releasing. And the reason I say that is because they released another pack with more after releasing the Lexa and Orin. So that most likely means you have a good amount of people using them. The Orin is the perfect skin for sweats who love Fortnite and anime. Yatta. This skin can be bought for 1200 V-Bucks when released, so not even that expensive. P, Psycho Bandit, and Pinky. Whenever someone is spotted using the Psycho Bandit, they're probably going to be using the Star Wand with him. And that's the first thing that should let you know not to fight them. Because my prognosis is they're going to be sweaty and toxic. This skin just has the look of toxicity to it. And let's not forget about the Pinky. He's one of the old male skins, but randomly became sweaty this year. And I guess that's because people ignored him when he was first released. But now he's making a comeback. Q. Well, research shows there's not a single male skin out there that starts with the letter Q, so let's move on to R. Reflex. I just couldn't leave the fresh skin off this list. Plus, the only way to get this skin was from buying a graphics card. Until Fortnite released it into the item shop and made everyone who spent hundreds of dollars on a graphics card mad. But it seems like this item isn't returning to the item shop anymore since they didn't release it with Fresh's bundle. And they used the girl style of it. And 90% of the players you see using this skin play on PC. S. Skull Trooper. The only reason why the Skull Trooper makes this list is because it's one of the skins that used to be very popular and hyped back in Chapter 1. Then if Fortnite didn't give players who had the OG one the purple variant of it, I don't think it would have made the list at all. But I don't see people using any version of the Skull Trooper anyway. And that's likely because not as many people use nor care about rare skins anymore, since they all came back to the item shop except for the Renegade and Ariel. T. Travis Scott. As soon as I thought of the very concept of this list, I knew Travis Scott would be in it. The main reason for that being that it's Travis Scott. Case closed. Anyway, as a general rule, the players using this skin are absolute sweats. And I don't know if they're playing some of Travis Scott's music while wearing it, because they're always in sicko mode and going crazy while playing. You can buy Travis Scott for 1500 V-Bucks when he is available in the game. You Unpeely. It's not a tryhard skin, it's not a sweaty skin. It's just a skin that we're forced to use to make this list because of the letter U. You never see people using this skin, so, well, let's move on. V, Verge. Another skin that's not really sweaty, but not as bad as Unpeely. It's just one of those skins you might eventually run into a tryhard using, who hits you for a ton of damage when fighting, and who gets lucky eliminations. W, Wild Card. Each Wild Card skin is above average, and that's because of how they're designed. And these are the originals that were first introduced to Fortnite. You don't see many people using these skins, but if you want to wear one, use the Rainbow Clover on it if you have it, because it tops it off and makes it look way sweatier. X, Xenomorph. Not many skins at all to start with the letter X, as you could probably imagine, so Xenomorph takes the crown pretty easily. Why? Yuletide Ranger. The male version of the Nog Ops was required to make the list. We just couldn't have left it off, because it's the only male skin that starts with Y. It's the letter Y, like how many did you expect? Z. Zaps or Zippy. Now, I don't think I've ever mentioned these skins before, but to be honest, they're surprisingly sweaty. And to be even more honest, you just got pranked, son. These aren't real skins. I made them up. There are no sweaty male skins to start with Z. What do we have? The Zorgoton? That's it. The Zorgoton. That's it. That's all you got. All right. I hope you enjoyed our little tour down the alphabet. Click on one of the videos on your screen.